Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Fish 5 It's been a minute, but I'm happy to dip my toes back into some standard action. And of course, what a better way to do that than with my favorite archetype, which is Control. And of course, in my favorite colors, Demir. Uh, yes, yes, I know. Krim and Demir, I know. Everybody that already collectively just sighed is like, yep. Skip. It's okay. This is for the control mages and who love control mages. Feel free to come hang out. This video is just for you. Uh, we're trying to build just a blue-black pure control deck too. Not rogues, not anything like that. Uh, with just, you know, eliminate, lots of removal spells, Shadow's Verdict as our sweeper, along with Extinction Event. And then why do we have Snow Mana for Graven Lore? Uh, because right now it just doesn't seem like there's much that's punishing me for playing Snow. And then on top of that we have our classic finishers like Ugin, uh, you know, Shark Typhoon, and all the counter spells in the multiverse. So, let's see how a good old control deck does in current standards meta. Class is back in session with Strixhaven's arrival, and of course, Card Kingdom's got all your singles and sealed product that you need up for order right now at cardkingdom.com. Um, what are, the, what are we playing against? Sure. Not a Luris, so it's not Rogues. Guess I'll just hang on to my, I don't know, like maybe it's wrong to keep this. We only have two lands, but. Oh, they mulligan pretty aggressively. Feels good. So they're down to two cards in library. We're definitely going to start with the swamp just in case for some odd reason they have something to hit us with. All right, we're going to pass. I'm definitely not going to help them draw any cards. Looks like they have Stomp. You know, with that in mind, do I even want to actually kill using... Oh, I have enough removal to where I can save myself the damage here. Yep, yep, you got it. Oh, that's not bad at all. I kind of need to draw cards, right? But if I don't draw a land here, I'm in trouble. So I think I have enough health on me now to go ahead and just take four. I wouldn't feel great about it, but it's what I gotta do. I can gain three back. Do they have anything else that would... Okay, so that's, like, as bad as it gets for us, Anugin. But... Alright, cool. So now we go down to 13, because we're gonna go ahead and blow up the heart, uh, with Heartless Act here, we're gonna blow up the Bone Crusher. And we're back at it again. All right, so I think this one is, for the most part, secured. Oh. Toblerone, you got it. Uh, that's still pretty bad. I, I keep drawing Shadow's Verdict, which doesn't really have any targets here. Toblerone again. All right, and they conceded? That's, all right, sure, I'll take it. Why not? Uh, what else do I want? I guess that's pretty good for life gain. I don't have any creatures. This shuts down pretty much all their annoying creatures that are their X1s. But the fact that Kervik dies to stomp isn't great. This is really just here for mono white. Uh-huh. Ugin's a bit pricey. Cling to dust, we don't need that many. All right, let's try it.
A one lander. The special. No thank you. <laughs> good old Ugin in the opener to always make you feel good. Huh. So they're gonna get their two drop on me. But I'm gonna kill this now, the Fireblade Charger. Then the turn after, I'll go ahead and suspend saw it coming. Yep, Robber of the Rich. So they're gonna start eating off the top of our deck here. They ate a land. All right. They don't get anything off the top. I do wish we had that land they took, though. That land would have been real nice. Ooh, you love to see it. Nothing. <laughs> All right. Um. How do I beat this Bone Crusher, actually? My hope is that they try to animate... No, they can't animate the... Faceless Haven. Okay. Bone Crusher, yeah, I'll have to counter that one because I can't deal with the first one. I would go to one if they have another land. Robber of the Rich again. And it's just as good as the first one. All right, so maybe I shouldn't have killed the one one. Should have saved the removal for one of their Robert of the Riches. Uh, yeah, I think I'd, I'm not gonna care about any of their one drops. I mean, if I am, it's because I'm close to dead anyways. Sure, you got it. Can't gain life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you you win. You thoroughly beat me. All right, let's go ahead and bring in that. That seems good. Shadow's Verdict wouldn't have mattered because I didn't hit that many lands anyways. Alright, I'm on the play. I'll keep this. We have two forms of removal and a bunch of lands. At least I can cast whatever I draw. Move that straight to the bottom. I don't need another land. Yep, yep. Seems good. Tiger creature can't block this turn as its ability for hall monitor. That's fine. Alright, so they're gonna try to beat me that way. They're rolling vortex and doing nothing. Okay. Well, I better find something quick. Yup. Okay, so how do I beat Roy in the Vortex? I don't know if I do, to be honest with you. Seems kind of hard to do. Like, I don't have Ashiok. I need to get Ugin. I can't let that hit. That's just too much damage. I think I'm dead. Right? It's like... I'm just gonna lose to these two now. Phoenix of Ash. Sure. Huh, what do I do? What do I do? That helps. But only barely. 
I have to cast this so I can get rid of Phoenix of Ash. Is there a chance that I can just speed out a win against them? No, I'm down to six here. Hall monitor, that's five. That's pretty good. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually just uh, unable to kill them now. Yeah, yeah. Yep, useless. Um, hmm. I don't think that saves me anymore. I mean, it blocks that, but... I'm dead this turn. Yeah, I'm dead this turn. GG's. I'll keep. Alright, what deck are you? Okay, so a swamp. Some kind of sacrifice deck. You got it. Uh-huh, so they, they probably are playing, yeah, definitely some kind of sacrifice deck then. I'm just gonna hold on to the the extinction event, so that's still good, even if they, I don't know, have a discard spell or something. Mono black aggro? Alright. This is, uh, this is spicy. I'll tell you what, I was not ready for that one. Great. Let's draw some cards. I'll take both of those. So we're gonna name Odd. Get rid of everything on the board permanently. Murderous Rider. You got it, the Rider has arrived. Am I just gonna, you know, maybe I just let them hit me for three. No, Gary's still in the format. I should be mindful of that. Gary is much so still in this format. Very much so. Um. I guess I'll play the island pass. Do they have something with flash? No, 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 no. They, they would have the knight, the 3-1 knight, and that's about it for their colors. Luris. Our everybody's favorite little cat friend. Who's a good kitty? Oh, you are a very bad kitty. Hold on, you're a 7-3 kitty now. You're a very bad kitty. Um... Three, six, seven, eight. Okay, cool. I'll take I'll take the land then. I mean the uh, bounce spell here. All right, pass. I do wonder if that was actually a bad idea because if they find a way. Oh, that's a non-land permanent. It would become a seven-power creature, right? It's colorless though, so that is nice. How do I beat that? I think I need to go dig for a, a removal spell. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go dig for a removal spell. Cause they're definitely gonna animate that uh, that land, and then they're gonna probably equip it. They have the mana to do so. Rankle, rankle, rankle. Don't want any of these lands. So, we're gonna go ahead and bounce here. Or maybe we don't, because, like, I mean, what are they going to do? Make me discard? Eh.
Now, if I can get them to play the Rankle again, that means Ugin can come down and immediately blow it up, so I get some value off of it. Yes! Okay. So now they go ahead and animate the land, the land plus the Demonic Embrace, that's seven. Ugin's still at two. Of course, they have Blood Chief's Ascension or whatever, Thirst. Then that just answers Ugin very clean. What does this thing do? It gives Hex, or no, it gives Flying, but no Trample. They'll have to keep... Uh, equipping it every turn, too, so that's nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Makes sense. Maybe auto-tapper taps down the Faceless Haven. You know what I'm saying? Come on, game. Tap down the Faceless Haven. Oh. The game saw the line. Okay. Ooh, a shade. And now we pass again? I don't even know when that hit the graveyard, actually. Well, isn't that just an interesting one? Okay. Uh, let's see, does this resolve? Ah, oh, uh, uh, come on, come on, tell me you're gonna let me... Yes! Okay, cool. That land is oddly very problematic, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. I leave you to your Let's get in there. Now we name Even. So I'm gonna go ahead and pump my little crawling barons. I can block, I can animate twice. I can't fly though, that's the only thing. All right, so that's really good against me. So I think now I have to change it up. I've gotta go digging for something. Supreme Verdict or Shadow's Verdict? No, neither of those are good, okay. That's not bad at all, actually. Oh, uh, that's actually the perfect set of draws. We have the Exile effect for the Skyclave Shade. Three, six, seven. We have seven mana, so we can do everything we have. We can cast everything we have in our hand. That feels amazing. Let's 
Let's see what they play now. Oh, that's a problem. Shadow's Verdict. There we go. Give me both of those. Thank you. And that about cleans up their board and their graveyard, so I don't have to worry about any shenanigans from their opponent. From the opponent, I mean. Um, Rankle, we can kill upon it hitting the board immediately. Okay, a 2-1 doesn't seem too bad. What do you have in your hand? Is it removal is the question. They have to block, right? All right, so they go up two. That's fine. They're down to three. Okay, cool. So mur no murderous rider for them. They've now got to beat. All right, they cannot beat the crawling barons. Good, Barry. Very good, Barry. Hmm. I don't think I want any of those. I'm probably going to get duress and stuff. Eh, that's fine. Ugin's a big winner for us. Actually, I don't think I need that many cling to dusts. That seems a bit excessive. Yeah, we're keeping that. That's a pretty good hand, actually. Sure, Earwig Squad or Whisper Squad. You got it, you got it. Swamp, exactly what I want. An untapped land. So as long as I don't get my Extinction Event arrest, I shouldn't be in too bad of a spot. Shade, that's fine. I don't know if I have an option here. I think I kind of have to actually leave up my mana here. We're gonna kill the shade at the end of their turn, because if we don't kill the shade at the end of their turn, they'll just play a land and get it back. Yeah, that's fine, you got it. I mean, if we could draw an island, that would make it so saw it coming is actually just castable next turn. It's extinction event. There's no discussion here. All right, so we kill the shade now. So I need to find a land here real bad. Or not a land, a, uh, a sweeper. I'm going to discard Ugin if they hit me with like a rankle this turn.
All right, let's go deck thinning. They play shade again. I don't think I can allow for shade to live, unfortunately. So I got to get rid of it. I'm going to go ahead and foretell the Sot coming so they can't discard it. We've got two lands and an Ugin, so this feels as bad as it could get. And we don't have enough time to live, right? Because that's three. I'm down to ten. They get a fourth one. That's four. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't have enough time. I've got to counter that and hope that they don't... I mean, that I draw something in response or, like, for, for the next turn. Nice. Yeah, it looks like we're dead next turn if we don't draw a sweeper. Like that. Uh, but even then, that doesn't answer all the nonsense that's going on. Odd or even. Even this one just keeps coming back. It's the same. Except this just keeps coming back every time. I think we name Odd because it's only one target, as opposed to three. And because Whisper Squad would get another body on board, so that's actually one more damage. Yup, you got it. So I'm down to... I'm dead this turn if I don't draw something to answer this card. Ooh, an island. That's good. That's really good. That's really good. That's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. An island. Always beneficial to have an island. <laughs> um. All right, let's see if we can actually uh, give them a game of Magic the Gathering this time. That duress was nice, though. That duress was real nice. Yeah, why not? I'm gonna just go pull a land. I do not need to have any more lands in my deck at this point. Five is where I want to get for almost all my interaction. Yep, yep. Let's go scrying an Ugin. All right, perfect for turn three. <laughs> no, it's not what I want. It's not what I want. That is not the one. Oh, that's pretty good against me. I need to find a non-land card. So I'm gonna just go ahead and keep digging away. Okay, that was actually pretty good, because now I can go ahead and eliminate the shade. Or not. Yup, yup, you got it. Every land, alright. Every one of them. Let's draw them all. We've got to have a few more to draw. I'm sure of it. Every land. <laughs> They'll get the damage in for this one. I'm not going to let them play a land and get value off of any of their stuff. Yep, yep, you got it. Doesn't matter, just got to pick any one of them. So I have five cards now. What do I want to do about this? Guess I just name even. Uh, 
All right, what do you have now? You have a Skyclave Shade again. So we have to name even again. So that's all their shades, or at least three of them. They have one more. There we go. We got him to play one of those Kite Sail Freebooters. Haha, you thought we would draw something? How foolish! We've got a land. Alright, let's see what we will draw here. Come on, Gabe. No more lands. No more lands. Stop stop being funny. No more jokes. Okay, that's not bad. Sure, you got a duress. You were bound to hit eventually. Scorpion, you got it. What else do you have for me? Yep, alright, that was a good call on my part to wait. We're gonna go ahead and suspend that. So once they play whatever it is, we can buy ourselves a little bit of life back if we counter what their next play is. You have to be mindful that Rankle is on its way down soon. Alright, that's a really good draw and it deals with Rankle, so I like it. We've reset the timer on the Serrated Scorpion. Well, may as well exile that card. Can't give them any more value. Three, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Exactly what the doctor ordered. For once, Ugin is not in my first three turns. That feels good. Ghostfire. My greatest. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and just keep pinging them down. So here comes Rankle. Rankle has to connect with my Ugin. I mean, if they have Murderous Rider, then it's big sad. Big sad. All right, another banner that's not going to do it for them. Sure. Put that into play, put that into play, put that into play, put that into play. Move that to the bottom. And so now, we should be able to draw, like, whenever we cast anything, we get two sharks every time. It's pretty much over. GG. Uh, this has a lot of removal. I like it. I'll keep. Uh, what is that? Witherbloom dot deck, so probably if, is it a pest deck? Looks like it is. Let's go ahead and get rid of that now. 
Maybe they have the Wither Bloom command. They can bring it back. All right, sure. Got rid of the witch. What does that do? Plum the forbidden as an additional cost to cast a spell. You may sacrifice one or more creatures. When you do, copy the spell each time you draw a card. And... Ah. So we're gonna go ahead and pass back to them. Yeah, you got it. I'm not gonna counter that. You got it, sure. Village craft or whatever, <laughs> whatever village rights with the craftiest of uh, mages. Sure thing. Create a one time. Okay, sure. You got it. Uh, what do I want to do? I want to draw cards here. All right, so I lose one. Perfect. So we're now a land away from playing Ugin. So we're just going to keep digging towards it. It's fine. They can go ahead and in if they'd like. Uh, sure. It's fine. Yeah, seems good. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and just kill our friendly neighborhood Woe Strider right now. Yeah, go ahead. They're looking to drain me out, huh? Cool. That is not what I wanted to see, but... I'm gonna just go ahead and tap out right now. I can't do anything anyways, and Baleful Mastery doesn't seem like something I want to do. Sure, you can have another one of these Woe Striders. You got it. Ooh. All right, so what do they grab now? Nothing. All right, we're going to name Odd. They'll sack the Eye Witch, I assume. Or Eye Twitch. Odd. Cool. Got it out of the way. Now, can I draw a land? I need a land. Learn. Uh, maybe I just cut them off of doing stuff. I, th I think I'm done with them learning for a little bit. Oh, this is so bad. Too many Ugins. Too many Ugins and not enough lands. I need one. Sure. Finally, okay, I didn't want to cast anything because I was worried about 
if I drew a land, I would have just used a card for no reason. But now that I drew the land, I don't feel bad. I just get to exile their board. Whew. Eugene, Eugene. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Kervik seems pretty good. No negates. Um, Sod Cummings, like, mediocre. Baleful Mastery, eh. Uh, we're probably getting duressed. We have removal though, and we have a scry land on the draw, plus the ability to suspend any of these two cards. So I'm kind of here for that. I need to cop calling calling it suspend. It's foretell, but it just feels like suspend. Keep it. That's a land. Fabled passage on the top of our deck. Opponent has made a token off of their heart's desire. Duress? What? So unlike them, to make me discard things. I think it's Shadow's Verdict, right? Ah, oh, wow, they care about the counterspell. Alright, so that tells me they have something pretty big they're trying to resolve. If they're just going to play the beast, I'm okay with that. I'll even take the six for the turn. I think they play village rights. You go to combat here first. Wither Bloom Apprentice. Okay. So we lose one because they're probably going to make me sack. They're going to cast the village rights. Oh, Plum the Forbidden. Wild. Wait, is this in the combo? I thought that was a... Is that not an infinite combo? No, that's not. All right, so I see the, I see, I see, I see. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, what do I want to do now? So that's two damage. I'm just gonna draw two cards. I think that sounds better. Sure, take another two. They're digging for another duress. Uh, let's go ahead and draw cards. I do like drawing magical cards. Let's see if we can find exactly that. Uh, that's all pretty bad for me so far. Land and a sweeper. That's pretty good. Okay, what do they do now? We've tapped out. What's your punish? I twitch, I twitch. Three, six, seven. let's get to Ugin first before we even worry about trying to cast anything related to Ugin. 
All right, no sack outlet for the opponent. They don't get to learn. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> no Luris. They look like they're mulliganing aggressively. What is this, mono red? Probably. Huh. I'm on the draw. You know what? It's okay. I can cycle. I can make some sharks. It'll be fine, right? Maybe, please. <laughs> don't punish me, don't punish me, don't punish me, don't punish me. All right, not punished yet. Keyword is yet. Uh, they seem to be Abzan. Uh, let me see. Uh, what do I want to do? I guess I just play my turn, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, move that to the bottom. I don't need any more lands. I think I'm good in that department. I have to imagine they're probably just like Abzan foretold. Oh, Pelucranos. Yeah, okay. So they're definitely Abzan foretold. I think I have Trample. Wait, does this thing not have Trample? Oh, then whatever. Um, we'll try to block. There you go. I don't take any damage. It shrinks the Pelucranos. They're probably going to play some something random. Ah, that's not bad. I am curious now. Just in case they have something. Sure, so if they swing with the visionary. Yeah, okay, that's fine then. I'll just take the six here. It's gonna take a little bit before they can actually. Oh, I should have killed the visionary. Oops. I wasn't getting a better target. Um, okay, what do I do next? So we're gonna let them go through. I don't know if I can take another six, so... Sure, let's go ahead and kill the visionary. Go down to four. I'm not tapping out this turn. It is not allowed... Let's get another black source. Yeah, I'll just I'll just make a shark. Why not, right? Like I don't see a big punish happening right now. Or maybe they fight it, whatever. Does its job. Oh my gosh, we can have more lands. All right. It's starting to feel bad. Sure. That's pretty good. Yep. Down to six. All right, surely I cannot draw any more lands. So, I mean, now I'm gonna just scry, so that should make sure that I don't draw lands. Or more of them. No more lands. All right, another land. Magic the Gathering.
So it costs six other cards plus six mana. Yeah, you got it. I'm not I'm not gonna stop that. I can't stop that. Alright, got rid of that. I mean, I'm not doing much else. Okay, I've drawn another uh, Sharknado. What are they holding on to? They're trying to fill their yard up. They've got five cards, one of them being Pelucrino, so they need two more. Oh, sure, you got it. Three, six, seven. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to make a seven, seven. We're going to attack. I legitimately don't know what they have to punish me uh, at the end of my turn, at least. They could have creature removal, but yeah, sure, that's fine. Vanishing Verse. Okay. Tell you what I wasn't prepared for. That. And that answers any permanent. Any one of them. Wow. Yep, you got it. I'm down to four. Six other cards, right? Yep. They have more vanishing verses. Right, let's get rid of Pelucranos. Well, now I don't have to use anything, right? I can just keep. Pa I can just pass now. That's three shark typhoons. So I only have one left, and it's in my hand, and they know about it. Uh, sure. You got it, buddy. All these cards will just keep happening. How do I get out from underneath this? I need an Ugin. Alright, let's go and grab another counter spell. Load ourselves up. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so they're trying to make a double spell turn, which is fine. We can take two here. We have the Cling to Dust in the grave, or yeah, in our grave, so we can gain three life back. At this point now, they just, I care more about what they're trying to do. Oh, World Tree? Do I lose somehow because they just bring a ton of gods into play? Because that's like at instant speed. Uh, what do I want now? None of these. If they bring a ton of gods out, I am going to need to answer that. Ah, 
higher. I do care about Akaya. All right, I'll counter that. They must have like an ECD or something like that. Like pretty sure they do. Go right ahead. Gobble, gobble, huh? They still- oh wait, Oath of Kai is not in standard anymore, so I don't have to worry about that. How many cards do I have in my graveyard? I have six, so I need this to gain life. Let's go ahead and just get rid of Valky then. I'm tapped out. You got anything? Wow, another land. Okay. Surely I cannot have any more lands to draw, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and do this, get everything out of the way. Save the Blood Chief's Thirst for when they eventually play a Planeswalker. How do I win though? Like, can I win? Oh boy, another land. Okay, pass. Do they actually have every other god? Oh, it's just a Valky. Okay, yeah, sure, that's fine. If they had had somehow like a ton of the gods, I would definitely be dead though. Unless they somehow counteracted each other. Okay. Cycle away, my friend. I think they might have wanted to keep that land. As you think about it, I mean, don't they want to cast the backside? They don't have anything that does that. They sack the world tree. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, We're going to make a 5-5. Five five. I mean, they know about the shark. So I may as well just keep both of the cards on top. Vanishing first. Yes, yes. So now I'm going to just send damage to them. Actually, let's get the Valky off the board. I will be countering whatever they try to do. I can counter two spells. Three, six, ECD, counter that.
Another ECD. Uh, what do we not want them to have? All right, let's go ahead and draw again. Oh, baby, another land. I really need the Zugan to live. Uh, whenever crits create a black source from a black white token, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, sure, you got it. That doesn't matter to me. All right. So what are you doing now? How's this not a Yorion deck too? Kind of thought this would be a Yorion deck. That's four mana open. Binding of the Old Gods would do it here. Vanishing Verse won't work. There we go. Win conditions. Sure, I'll take that. Why not? I'm going to go ahead and exile everything you've got. Then we're going to pass. We have the land here to go and he go in and just like exile if they try to go Eerie Ultimatum or something like that. Because otherwise the only thing they get back from Eerie Ultimatum is, well, just their lands. Sure. Uh, what do you... Well, okay, cool. Nice and grindy. I like it. Alright, alright, opponent. I see you. I see you. I see the game you're playing. Very nice. Uh, what do I need... Is there anything else that I want here? I mean, Elspeth's Nightmare seems pretty good against them. They have so many uh, sagas that I need to get rid of. Want to keep all my win conditions in. I have two lands, a bunch of interactive spells, but none of them counter my opponent's stuff. So yeah, let's get rid of that. This feels a little bit better. So assuming we get dunked on by, I mean, I don't know which one of these is better. They have a mana dork that I don't want to counter. Yeah, that's fine. I think I ship that. Yeah, like, I, I, I would just ship the Erebos' intervention. Alright, sweet.
So I think I'm going to just go ahead and pass. Like, what three-drop sagas am I worried about? Not too many. Yeah, I think I'm going to just go ahead and actually s suspend that. If they play, like, Tybalt here, it doesn't matter. If they play their Mana Dork, it doesn't matter. This is the best window I have to do what I'm trying to do. Redain, that's fine. Oh, no, I have snow-covered lands. Oh, wow. That card's actually relevant. Wild. Uh... Yeah, I'll counter that. They have a window now. Vanishing Verse, okay. They have a lot of those. They probably pack like four of them, I think. It's fine though, we're just gonna go ahead and play Maze Mind Tome. Sure thing, buddy. Maze Mind Tome will be very key in us staying around for this match. Two top, huh? That's concerning. What could that mean? Only good things, I'm sure. They vanishing verse, so they value their graveyard. That much I do know. Kaya. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that. I don't need that eliminate. This is all fine, they can hit me for two. We just pass again? Do they even have anything at instant speed right now? I don't think so. Sure thing, buddy. You got it. Uh, yeah, that seems good. You got it. Ooh, well, with that, I don't mind getting just a 2-2 two -two out of it. They're gonna Vanishing versus this. That's A-OK -okay with me. You got it. Every time. Let's stem the bleeding just a little. I don't need to really worry about this callous blood mage. It can hit me. Uh, I'm going to gain four health back. We have the negate ready for when they try to play a saga or a planeswalker. Specifically, it has to be... Like, ECD, not not binding. Binding right now doesn't hit anything. If a source an opponent controls would deal damage to you or permanent, you could prevent one of that damage. Target of a spell or ability to counter that spell? Oh, sure, okay. Uh, yeah, that's that's totally fine. Sure. Doesn't really do anything.
And let's put some counters on here. Oh, nope. Do that. Undo that. Okay. Put some counters. Nope. Don't animate. Oh, no. Wow, that... We got real lucky there. Okay. So as long as I leave up two mana, I should be okay, right? So four, eight. So I can make a four, four. Uh, we're just going to beef up our Crawling Barons. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and make a big shark. Four, eight, nine. So I can make a five, five, and then we start attacking for four. ECD. Uh... Sure, I guess I'll counter that. Why not? Alright, so I don't need to counter anything anymore, so I'm just going to go ahead and make a body. Vanishing Verse. Another one. You got it. All right, so they take seven. They're down to 12. I'll pass. Uh, let's go ahead and play Fabled Passage. Huh. Okay. We could try to just go for it here. Seems good. All right, they're going to block. Great news for us. I mean, I could have gone for lethal there, but I think I'm going to go cautious here. I mean, I pay one. I guess, yeah, then I, t I eventually would tap out and then just die when I could just kill them next turn anyways. Like, they could do some game-losing line or game-winning line for them and a game-losing line for me. Is this another vanishing verse? Jeez Louise. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> All the sharks will go bye-bye. And we attack and we attack and we pump. We have to pump because they have uh, the, uh, whatever, protector shield to prevent one damage. So that would only be 11. This would be lethal. And I think we got it because if they try to kill it, we counter it. GG. <laughs> nice. Good old Barry. And I'm going to mulligan. All right, this is better. All right, let's find out if they've got creatures. They're not a Lurus deck. So that means no Lurus means it's not rogues. Now, if they do play rogues, they're just the big blue version, blue, uh, big Demir version, that could be kind of scary. Oh, that's pretty good. There goes my uh, Brazen Borrower, I guess. Uh, 
Um, what's the worst that could happen if I do this now? I'm more so I'm just worried about them having like village rights and then getting value off that. I don't want them to get any value off that. Saving the Blood Chief's Thirst doesn't really do anything. I mean, uh, using the Blood Chief's Thirst doesn't do anything because it's not like we can play another spell. So I may as well use it to save for like a double play, like that plus kill something. Okay. If they're gonna do the the thing with village rights, I'm gonna wait. If they play, yeah, sure, you got it. They can get two damage in. Uh, what is this? Mono black aggro? Mono black mid range? Ah, okay, I know what it is. Bone Crusher. All right, so they're going to do something that is going to make me sad probably next turn. What's the big spell that they would have? I've got a grip full of land, so this feels terrible, but... Okay. Ooh, and another land to really let me know how the shuffler feels. I like it. All right, opponent. Yes, yes, go at it. Go off, son. Go off. Wow, all right, so it's just black red mid range. Well, that's good to know. Okay, so how do I survive this here? Take the action. Let's go ahead and block. All right, so Bone Crusher's down. Now, if I draw Extinction Event, I didn't. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to block. Let's see here. So one, two, three, four. So they're going to attack. They get to do some shenanigans here. Uh
They have a land, I'm in trouble. So you know what, I have to block and hope that they sack the shade. It's the only line that kind of saves me. It's not great, because they immediately get to get it again. I need to find Extinction Event right now. Extinction Event, please. Nope, that's not it. And so the game continues to make me sad. Alright. Extinction Event is my out... Uh, what do I do about this, though? Um, I mean, there's more Shadow's Verdicts. So I need to kill... Or I need to remove the counters, right? Force them to sacrifice the Shade, but they just do it again. But then I... But if they sack the Shade, I don't take five? Like, I think that's the only way I can get out of this. I chance it that they don't have another Bone Crusher, which is unlikely since they've... Well, mm, maybe I have a shot. Not really sure. Because if I rip the... If I sh shrink the Immisturm Predator, it will die. And then we removed three counters here. Hopefully they just sack the shade to give it indestructible. They didn't. They saw the line. And we're dead. Dang it. All right. GG's. GG's. A little too late. These counters are a little problematic. All right. Don't want negate. Don't need that many beholds. I don't need Karavik, do I? No, Kervik just gets stomped 90% of the time. Like, Kervik is really just for mono white. Pretty sure both of these aren't going to do anything. Because whatever they do, they're just going to go ahead and put counters on it anyways. At some point, so I don't need that early interaction. I can go ahead and just pass. This way, if, I, if like they have a duress, I still get to resolve an extinction event. They have a full grip. Sure. We're gonna just hold up three mana, represent that we have a counter spell. Take the three. All right, I guess I'm going to go ahead and make some Crawling Baron's uh, beaters. Although, their hand is clearly just gas, right? They haven't hit a land yet, so. All 
Uh, what do I want to do about this? You know what? I'm gonna just pass. Alright, so this means that I won't die to a stomp, or my shark won't. If they have Heartless Act, then sure. Yep, you got it. So that means their turn's done. Cool. No, or I guess not. All right, I'm going to grow the Crawling Barons again. So we're down to eight. They are looking for a land. All right, let's grow the Crawling Barons. Let's go ahead and pass. Or let's take our turn. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. So they'll get their fourth land. Somewhere along the way, they will find that fourth land. So Rankle is probably coming. What are they doing over there? They have so many... Car oh, Glory Bringer. Not Glory Bringer. Um, the Dragon. The Dragon's in this deck for sure. Uh, let's see, what do you do now? Valky, you got it. I mean, I don't know what else they are doing this turn. Have they been holding on to lands in hopes of just trying to get there with Skyclave Shade? I can kill the Valky and counter something next turn, so that feels pretty good. If I need to. Alright, so we'll go ahead and kill the Valky. Gain a life off it, sure. Shade, you got it. I'm going to draw cards here, so. Uh, yeah, you got it. That's fine. It's, it's the same anyways. So we're going to name Odd on Extinction Event. We do need a Shadow's Verdict, so I'll just keep digging. Oh, wow, we drew one. All right. So they probably have Dragon, and they're trying to sneak it in, right? So what's going to happen here is they're going to probably connect with Dragon. So I go down to five, but I have Soul Shatter. So I can make him sacrifice it and then hold up mana. And or if they commit multiple odd-costed cards... Then all I have to do is Extinction Event. And no matter what, I'll have the mana to hold up Sot coming for the following turn. Do 
the rest, sure. All right, extinction event seems good. Ooh, they don't have anything. Well, that's good for us. Valky, yeah. Valky's good. Village rights, you got it, sure. Draw some more cards. Let's go ahead and fetch. Let's get another black source. Go ahead and pump the uh, barons here. All right, pass. Three, six. Yeah, it's fine. You got it. Oh, why would they keep all those in? Alright, we'll go ahead and pass. I think we have them dead the following turn if they don't do anything. Alright, we got them! Wow, on the mulligan to five. Oh, I won't lie, that felt pretty good. Maybe Kervik is worth it. What did we see so far? Sorcery speed removal? Yeah. Uh, we're probably getting to rest. We're on the draw. There's no way we get to keep this, but we have all the lands we need. I'll try it. Look, the fact that we have lands makes me feel pretty good about it. Because then, at some point, we can just hope that we top deck into something. Obviously, it's better that than not have any lands. Can't cast what I top deck anyways, which will still lose me the game. So... Yeah, you got it, buddy. So Valky gives them the information they need. You got it. Let's get a black source. Go ahead and pass. There, our hand is ripe for a duress. But will that duress happen? Probably not until closer to turn five. Probably gonna focus on setting up. Yeah, you got it. I'll just eat the damage from this. And give them a card draw. All right, let's see what happens. If they shock, or whatever, they try to stomp this, that means they don't get to play anything for the turn. Or maybe they do, but it's like a one drop. Yep, seems good. Take the damage then. I'm going to go ahead and play my land, start putting counters on it. All 
All right, let's make this creature bigger. So what are their follow-ups here? We have the ability to go and make, to go Shadow's Verdict. They're going to follow up with what, a creature, a four mana creature, something like that, or potentially some shades. Well, I'm tired of drawing land, so we're going to go deck thinning. All right, so what are they going to follow it up with now? I have three lands, unfortunately. All right, and we got there. And with that conclusion, it brings us to a 4-1 and one record. Looks like Control still got a kick. Uh, it's been a minute I've kind of stepped away from Control. I've only been playing a ton of Historic. Uh, and, you know, I've been stepping away from Standard, I mean. I've been playing a ton of Historic. And it feels good to know that there is somewhat of a viable Control deck. Uh, but in testing, I got bodied by Rogues pretty hard. So, I don't know. I mean, we I don't know how we beat Rogues. Maybe we get a little more aggressive by adding, like, some Skyclave Shades or something like that out of the sideboard. Uh, the Karavik is really in the sideboard to be cute against all the Mono White decks. And maybe a few of the whatever random X1 loaded decks. But mostly it's there for uh, the Hollowed Blade, whatever, Seasoned Hollow Blade. And then, of course, we have Mystical Dispute for Rogues and whatnot. I think we could drop Pestilent Haze and Karavik, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, not a huge fan of that. I'd like to deal with the uh, Vortex the pseudo vortex thing, the two mana red enchantment that makes it we can't gain life and pings us on our upkeep for one every turn. So we're probably looking at feed the swarm and something like that because that's just hard to deal with. And if we don't get rid of that, we will lose to that eventually. Uh, along with that, we also have to deal with cards like Clothis, uh, which we do really struggle with as we don't have cards like Ether Gust anymore. So that either means more Brazen Borrowers or something that actually deals and exiles enchantments and whatnot. So yeah, that's going to be a pickle, and I hope it's not Ugin. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I do appreciate you coming back and supporting the content. Feel free to leave a like and a sub, and hit the bell icon to be notified when a brand new video goes up and on goldfish.com. Other than that, uh, mtggoldfish.com, that is. Other than that, of course, you can always find me at all my other uh, avenues of entertainment. You can find me at my Twitch channel, uh, twitch.tv slash the Asian Avenger, and of course, on social media, just the Asian Avengers, my handle for everything. So thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a good one, and I'll see you at the next video. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.